Vegeta! It's really good to see you again! How are you, Master? Hola, Kaba deck you want. Here it is. Focus or I'll kill ya. Choose one, Universe 6 in your hand, discard it when this card attacks, draw two. When this card attacks, when your life's at four, last game of blue unison was supposed to cost two in play, you may draw two cards, add cards from your life until you have six left, flip them over. Get him over here, he's not shiny, so the webcam shouldn't be a piece of shit, but it's still gonna try to be. Auto, once per turn, if it's your opponent's turn, when you play a blue U6 card, switch up to one of your blue energy to active mode. That's where the gangster stuff comes in. And auto, when this card attacks, draw one card. Activate battle, once per turn, spirit boost one, use up to one blue U6 card in your drop in a combo with the skills negated for the turn. And since it said blue U6 card, that means we're just going to use blue yellow because they're going to be the one plus 10Ks and they're going to help us arrival. So, come on. Well, to start off any good deck list, you need your one drops that search your shit. So, Kale, ready to fuse. When this card's played, look top five. You can either add a blue U6 or add a unison with a specified cost of two. It does have an activate main as well. You can pay one blue energy, look at up to three cards at the top of your deck, and you can add a Caulifla or Kefla to your hand and place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. So it doesn't say anything about cost, so go nuts. And as for one of those cards you can grab, you can grab this SS Caulifla Rapid Repose. You're like, come on, that card's for Kale. Shut up. It's got an activate main limit one. If your leader is blue universe six and you have two more energy, uh, you can tap one blue energy, draw one card and player. So, hey, 15K, it's a three drop. The other effects with Kale, we don't need to worry about that, but that is, uh, you know, some fusion pieces if you want to go nuts. Speaking of fusion, here's Kefla, base form. Uh, when this card is played from your hand, draw two cards, choose one card in your hand and place it at the bottom of your deck. And then activate main if your opponent has two or more energy and you choose one Caulifla and one Kale in your drop area, play this card from your hand and place the chosen cards underneath it. 15k, one drop as well. Very similar thing to her, but you need to have these two in the drop and you can draw two cards and bottom deck one of those pieces you don't need so super super good early on now we're getting uh we're keeping the theme we're just gonna go with the blue u6 stuff right now and then we'll get into the cooler stuff vato's right on time so we need a counterplay for a deck here's the counterplay dual attack counterplay play this card if the battle card being played has an energy cost of three or less return to the owner's hand instead permanent during your opponent's turn reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one so it's a two cost on your opponent's turn and if you're on your awakened side you're getting one of those energy back anyway because you are playing a card on your opponent's turn so super good i don't think i played her a single time but hey she's there as for another card i think i played once uh ss Kaba proud zenith uh Unique dual attack blocker. When this card is played, you can choose one. You can either draw two cards if it's your turn or if it's your opponent's turn. You can choose one of your opponent's battle cards for or less, place it at the bottom of the owner's deck, then switch one of your blue energy to active mode. At the end of the turn, he switches back to active mode, so you get your two swings with him, and you can still block on your opponent's turn. Uh, active main slash battle, one blue to any color energy. If there are three or more blue and or yellow cards in your battler and or combo area, play this card from your hand. So. You know, there's situations where you can play him. He's kind of your, like, backup for the real boss monster of this deck. Uh, speaking of boss monsters for this deck, here's one that also never gets played. I honestly really think I could scrap these cards for a card I'll talk about later on. But permanent, you can only have one copy of this card in your battle air. It's unique before unique had a thing. Reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one for each of your blue battle cards. And activate main, you get a draw two. Then at the start of your opponent's main phase, choose two of your blue energy, switch them to active mode. So really cool when you can get her off and go wild with her. But realistically, the lowest she can get reduced to is three, which drawing two, untapping two for three, pretty good. She's got to survive till the end of the turn. There's some stuff that would wipe her, but I don't know. I don't know. Before we get to the blue yellow cards, I just want to remind you that Smosh is back together and they bought their channel back. So, you know, the world's healing. Going with our good old check land here, being hit flawless attacker, energy exhaust barrier. The only thing you really got to know is it's permanent. If I have a blue or yellow U6 card in play, negate this card's energy exhaust skill in all areas. So, basically, turn one, I charge a blue, I play Kale. If she lives, Turn two, slap it down, hit so I can have my yellow energy. Realistically, you only really need one yellow energy in this deck to play the boss monster, but hey, run four, why not? You can also combo from the drop and get your arrival because it's a blue U6. Now, speaking of arrival, 
here is our first arrival target, and that is Vegeta Kaba Lessons Learned. Uh, dual attack, arrival blue yellow. You can either do a blue energy or a yellow energy. When this card is played, choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards. Energy costs four or less in rest mode and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Cool thing about that, that auto is directly on play. So if you're arriving this on your opponent's turn, they're swinging with a four drop, you can just bottom deck that four drop that they're swinging with. They can over combo, whatever the hell, slap him down. And it's just like, okay, better luck next time. Uh, and now, one of my favorite arts for U6 and for like SPRs in general. I really love uh, SS2 Kefla Lightning Speed and just, I don't know, the pinks, you know, the Kaioken cards. We got pinks and all that stuff here. Patrick Star, Double Strike, Energy Exhaust, Blocker, Arrival, Blue Yellow for two blue and one yellow. Uh, that's why we need that. When this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, place at the bottom of the owner's deck. Guess what? Same kind of idea with that. If they're swinging for a game with a battle card, even if it's got barrier, you can arrival that sucker in and. You know what? It's GG's. But activate main. Limit one. If your opponent has three or more energy and you choose one card in your hand, discard it. This card gains dual attack for the turn. If the discarded card was a copy of her, you get to draw to and rest one of your opponent's cards. Which means you're probably going to rest their energy or blocker. But that didn't win me a game against Soul Striker where he had one energy up and like three D magics in hand, but he only had one life. <laughs> Can't sparking at one life. If I tap down the less energy, no more deep magics. As for another Kefla card, this one is an arrival. Uh, we're just going with a one of because I only pulled one of the winner and I don't know where the non winner is, so she just slapped in there. Energy Zoss Barrier. When this card is played, you draw one. Uh, you play her for one blue and one yellow. If your leader is blue or U6, play this card from your hand. And then auto limit one. If this card's in rest mode, when your opponent attacks a leader card, switch one of your opponent's energy to rest mode. Cool card. Didn't play it a single time. Definitely could gut that out of the deck. These four cards, I don't know. Realistically, I should be running more arrival pieces, but this is the exact deck I ran in the video that you guys were asking for a deck list for. The real card I should be using is the Shop and Vados. Unfortunately, I only one copy of this, and I'm just like, well, what can we do with the cards we have? And this is what I've came up with so far. So since we're arrivaling, we do need arrivals that don't require spirit boost. And here's one of them, SSG Son Goku Hit Temporary Truce. I need to get a foil one of these because this card would look snapped foil. I don't know, anything with Super Saiyan God with the fire is just like, oh my god. But critical, Aegis Blue Yellow once per turn, don't really care. Uh, if there is a blue yellow multicolor card in your energy, reduce the combo cost of this card in your hand by one. So it becomes a 0-5 and you can just go to town with your arrivals from hand. So super, super clutch. You can also run the blue yellow hit that does that as well. It's an SR. Uh, some people run both, but hey, they're rares. I had them in my multicolored box. That's why they're in here. Next up, more stuff to arrival. We got our first super combo, SS2 Kefla Super Fusion. Only running one copy. Uh, if my leader is blue yellow, at the end of battle in which this card was using a combo from your hand, choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Cool thing with her is you can search her with uh, KL or anything like that because you're just searching a blue use six energy cost three or less. She's energy cost two. And of course, the next one is going to be three copies of Zamasu Sacred Belief. I'm running more Zamasus because I feel like if there's a chance to rest the leader or something, it just feels too good. It forces your opponent to always swing with their leader first, or they can lose out on their leader swing, their draw, or any kind of effects they're getting on their leader, so I just like having the pressure of him there. Okay, now we're just going to show off a little tech card here as well too. This one I actually used a lot and could bump the number up to three, and that's Tapey on Calamity Challenger, so double strike. Uh, you can X-Evolve, no one's gonna X-Evolve. Uh, when you play this card, you draw one, and to play them, it's limit one, spirit boost one for one blue energy. If I have a blue unison card with 15k power or more, and three or more energy, I spirit boost one, and I play them from my hand. 20k, double strike. Super, super good. Definitely puts on pressure. Like, the gist of this build is I'm trying to put as much aggression as possible. That's why even not running the Vados Champa card, it actually still worked, because I'm just trying to force out as many of these early on as possible, and then every turn after turn three, I'm just going with this. Going with this and just trying to put as many on the board as possible, and that's why he's there for backup, because that's another three energy I can use in an activate battle. It's not really an arrival, but I can still play it on my opponent's turn, get an energy back. I don't know. I think this deck works better when you're just trying to shove it down your opponent's throat. And speaking about shove it down your opponent's throat, there's Hit. Uh, I don't know why he shoves things down your throat, but uh, that's the unison I'm running here. Definitely could run the Android 17 and 18 unison, but Hit, he's on theme. He's actually not too bad in the meta right now. It's scary when your leader's going to flip over, so a lot of people just try to 
gun down him and it gives you more chance to aggro them out with your other stuff uh plus one you get to draw one he does have a good auto what works with this leader is if it's your opponent's turn when you play a blue battle card using a rival add a marker to this card so another way to boost them up and then the minus one pay two energy if your leader is blue or u6 and your opponent has three or more energy flip your opponent's leader over and they can't activate awaken or wish until the end of their next turn so huge threat only a minus one for that ability obviously you still got to pay two but people are going to want to wipe that guy out and of course the spear boost there too so you need to have more markers on him you're going to get a marker back because basically you're going to spear boost from that to use a combo from the grave hopefully a rival and then he gets his marker back it works but like i said the 17 18 does accrue markers really fast so that might be a better option for you i'm just you know trying to keep it more on theme here so before we get into the extra cards you know talking about smosh what the hell's nigihiga doing you know i need some sean fujiyoshi but well, universe six assemble running two of them you could run more i'm trying to keep this deck as close to 50 as possible i think the final number is 53 but basically if my leader is u6 i can activate this card to activate battle from my hand without paying its energy cost uh, you can use the activate main, you have to pay one for that, you get a look top seven and you add a blue U6 to your hand, that it costs five or less. So not bad, you can search for cab or any of these things up top, some of the multicolor stuff as well too, because it doesn't specify mono blue. Uh, the activate battle is the more important part here, is you can use one blue U6 from your drop area in a combo, and it gets minus 5k combo power, but you can do that for free, so you just pitch the extra card combo one of your one plus 10 k's it becomes a zero five and there you go you can arrival another thing there as you can see the theme is arrival i definitely could put the goku hit as well too that'd be another arrival piece in there that might be what i'd want to do actually getting rid of that i could go down the vados chain as well because they do reduce combo costs but that's another one where if i just want to go early aggro and go nuts it's not too bad either because the downfall of this deck is if you don't see your pieces you don't see your multicolor like energy that becomes a 1 plus 5k and there's a couple of 1 plus 10ks in this deck it's just like oh my god this is horrible but next extra card we're running blue 4d magics come on you already knew that was here why not i can arrival my opponent's turn i want as much energy as possible so to get as much energy as possible sensu beans and yes the official eroded versions from the zamasu starter deck you know fuck this card but scr baby hatch like i said this is more aggressive so this is kind of your fallback plan where it's just like oh i went in too deep and they had something nuts to stop me here's my baby hatch or if you want to make it even more aggro throw in beast gohan i ain't gonna throw him in i don't got him you know z deck time and talking about old youtubers i was gonna bring up shay carl but i forgot that he fucked that cam girl now the best card in this deck honestly uh hit pursuing improvement this this card won me all my games I don't give a shit. It is two energy, one Z energy, and a flight blocker. If you have three or more energy, when this card attacks or activates blocker, uh, you can use one blue multicolor U6 card from your drop in a combo with the skills negated for the turn, and at the end of the turn, switch one of your energy to active mode. Uh, and then at the end of the turn, switch this card to active mode. So you're swinging for 25k, and you're blocking for 25k. You're also giving another window where you can arrival, and you don't need to worry about wasting one of these in your hand. You can just use one of your cards that are already in the drop, and then on your opponent's turn, same thing. You're blocking for 25. You can arrival there again. You're getting an energy back at the end of the turn anyway, so it doesn't matter if you arrival and tap out. He is still getting you one energy back, and the best part is, even if he gets removed because he doesn't have barrier, he still hits that auto because that auto is triggered as soon as it's comboed. So I think you can run them at four if you want. I didn't find any way to play more than three of them in a game. He is the only Z deck card that really matters here because he actually improves the deck so much. Uh, next up, just good blue stuff. Beerus, you need to remove pesky barrier stuff. A boss monster, you can really tap out for him. Go nuts or if they got early stuff that doesn't have any barrier, you can also just play Beerus, swing, get rid of it. Not bad. They got a huge board play sell you know pretty standard blue stuff uh as for the final blue z battle card ssb vegetal godly spirit never played it once i don't think i've ever played it in any of my blue decks it's kind of just in here he's just he just follows sell and beerus around because he doesn't know what to do with his life i don't i think maybe one game we got to five energy but i had two keflas in hand and we just went with it now here's a yellow z battle card of course oolong greed is good you don't need a yellow leader you just need to choose a card get its power 
you got a Kefla, get 30k, they got a secret rare out, get their power, get your hatchet power. It doesn't matter. He is a disgusting bastard, and that's amazing. Well, that's the deck list. If you want to see how it plays, I do have a video in the description below where you can see gameplay on this deck. Uh, I, As you can tell, I've gone completely insane. It is 3 in the morning right now, and I realized after playing many ranked games of Street Fighter as Blanca, I am becoming a feral man myself. Also, if you want to catch me on stream, I stream every Tuesday and Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Cards. Uh, I... Today, I just played Garlic Jr. for the first time, and my god, that deck is a lot better than I thought, so we'll definitely have some content with Garlic Jr. on the channel. Um... Ray William Johnson.